Welcome to Stelio. Yes, that is exactly what some of us do when confronted with a wasp. Wasps are well known for buzzing and angrily stinging us, which doesn't make them one of our favorite animals. However, what you may not know is there are 75,000 identified species of wasps in the world, and not all of them even sting. Whether a wasp stings or not, they are all extremely helpful to humans by controlling pest insect populations. We should be more enthusiastic about wasps for this reason alone. Wasps are insects related to bees and ants. Yellow jacket and hornet are common names for several wasp species. Wasps live on every continent except Antarctica and they are plentiful in tropical areas. A male wasp is referred to as a male drone and a female is simply called a female wasp. Each wasp goes through a complete metamorphosis from an egg, larvae, pupa to a full-grown wasp in the cell of the nest. The life cycle of a wasp depends on the species, but in general, a worker wasp's life can last from 12 to 22 days, while a queen can live up to a year. Some species measure up to 2.5 inches or 6 centimeters long. Others are among the world's smallest insects. Wasps usually have two pairs of clear wings and six legs. Some wasps live in groups called colonies. These insects are called social wasps. A female known as the queen starts the colony. She builds a paper-like nest and lays eggs in it. Her first batch of offspring gathers food and works to make the nest bigger. But most types of wasps do not form colonies. They are known as solitary wasps. They may build nests in the ground, lay eggs inside plants, or even sneak their eggs into the nests of other insects. Many people fear the sting of wasps. However, wasps usually sting only people who swat at them or touch their nest. Here are 15 interesting facts about wasps. Many people get confused between wasps and bees, but it's pretty easy to tell the difference between bees and wasps because bees look quite hairy and wasps do not. A queen wasp begins a new colony every spring. First, the queen will raise worker wasps to help bring in food and make the nest larger. Then, she will begin laying eggs. In one summer, a colony of wasps can grow to 50,000 insects. There is only one queen at a time in the nest. Only female wasps have stingers, while males do not. Because of this, females are the primary protectors of the nest and the queen. Wasps can sting over and over again, unlike bees, which they are often compared to. Social wasps will sting in self-defense. Solitary wasps reserve their stinging abilities for hunting. Wasps are omnivores. They like to eat sweet plants, fruits, flower nectar, honey, as well as other insects and caterpillars. You could say that wasps actually have a bit of a sweet tooth, just like many of us humans do. Some wasps eat human food, which is why they can be a nuisance at picnics. Wasps come in every color imaginable. Yellow jackets and hornets are black and yellow. Other wasps may have green, metallic blue or bright red markings. A social wasp that is upset can emit a pheromone to other wasps, signaling them to come and help. A pheromone is a chemical released by some animals that can affect the behavior of similar animals. When an entire colony of wasps is angered, look out! 
Some people are highly allergic to wasp stings and have a good reason to be afraid of getting stung. Although people without allergies will only have minor irritation due to a sting, people with severe allergies can have a serious reaction. Wasps have a very useful purpose. Wasps are fierce predators and they hunt and eat almost every insect pest that harms crops. Wasps eat grasshoppers, aphids, flies and other bees. The agriculture industry relies heavily on wasps to help with pest control for the sake of their crops. Some people are scared of wasps. The fear of wasps is called sphexophobia. Wasps have the power of facial recognition. They can identify you just like they can identify their hive members. Humans aren't the only ones who fear the wasps sting. Animals do as well. Many animals know to steer clear of them. Wasps are pollinators. They help spread pollen when they visit flowers to drink nectar. Spreading pollen allows flowers to make seeds. Did you know wasps taught us to make modern paper? We stole the idea from paper wasps and after thousands of years we mastered it. Paper has been around in various forms for thousands of years. A French scientist out on a nature walk observed that wasps were making their nests out of paper-like substance that was far more durable than any other paper they knew up to that point. Paper wasps take wood and chew it down until it is a pulp and mix it with their saliva and then make their nest from the pieced together pulp. So next time you see a wasp, don't scream. Stop and think about how amazing these insects actually are. Hello, little friends. Look how big their nest has gotten. <laughs>